Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 628, maximum product of three numbers. Before I start with the problem statement, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given an integer array of numbers and we want to find out the three numbers whose product is the maximum and return the maximum product. So in this case, you can see guys, in first example, we have got all the positive integers and the output is 6 because we have got only three numbers here. In the second example, we have got 1, 2, 3 and 4. Again, all of them are positive and we are just having the product of the three biggest numbers and that product comes out to be 24. In the last example, guys, it is really important to note that we are having negative integers. So what happens with negative integers, guys? In case of negative integers, if you multiply two of them, then you get a bigger product. You get a positive product, okay? But if you multiply an odd number of negative integers, then you get a negative product or a negative value or a smaller value so this thing we have to keep into mind guys that uh, our integer values could be positive or negative and we have to make sure that the product should be the maximum one irrespective of the fact if we are multiplying only positive numbers or we are multiplying uh, two negative numbers and one positive numbers okay now the constraints are pretty straightforward guys that the length of the array is from 3 to 10 to the power 4 and the number value could be a negative value from minus 1000 to plus 1000 and let's get started with the solution approach now so first of all guys i'm going to use uh, the first solution approach which is going to be the approach of sorting so yes guys what we are going to do is we are just going to sort these numbers and then we are going to find out the product of the three maximum numbers so three maximum numbers product and then two minimum numbers with the maximum number. Why am I uh, multiplying two minimum number uh, with uh, the maximum number is because if those two minimum numbers are both negative numbers, then their product will be the bigger product. Okay, because uh, minus sign is going to cancel itself. So if I multiply two minimum negative numbers, it will be a bigger product. And then multiplying that number with our maximum positive number will give me the maximum product. Okay, so I hope the approach is clear to you guys. And let's get to this uh, coding part now. So the first thing is I'm just going to use a utility here, arrays.sort. And this is just going to sort my array. And then... Uh, the length of my array is in this variable length, nums.length. And now I'm just going to find out the positive number product. So integer pos product equals to nums len minus 1. That means the maximum number. Nums len minus 2, which means the second maximum number. And nums len minus 3, which is the third maximum number and then we have got our negative product in the negative product we are going to multiply the two minimum numbers and uh, the two minimum numbers are num0 and num1 and then finally the maximum number which will be our last number okay so nums len minus 1 is our maximum number so if we think that the uh, two minimum numbers are both of them are negative then it is possible that if I multiply uh, both of them I can get this negative product greater than the positive product so obviously we are going to return math dot maximum of either negative product or positive product so whichever one is the greater one is going to get return and uh, let me run this code guys. Let's see if this works with our solution, uh, with our example cases or not. And there you go guys. You can see that it actually gets accepted uh, with the example case and it gets passed for all the other test cases as well. Now if I talk about the time complexity guys, the time complexity is going to be order of log, uh, order of n log n. 
uh, if we consider that uh, we are using a optimized algorithm like merge sort to sort our product then the time complexity is going to be order of n log n which is basically the time taken to sort it and then the space complexity is obviously going to be order of one because we are not using any extra space to actually find out the maximum product okay so that was the first approach guys the first approach uh, using sorting and now let me delete all this uh, and let's go to our second approach which is going to be an iterative solution. So in this iterative solution we are just going to go through a loop, loop till n numbers and then find out the three maximum values and two minimum values. And the same way, uh, we calculated the positive product by multiplying the three maximum values and the negative product by multiplying the two minimum value with the maximum values. We are just going to find out our positive and negative product and then finally return the maximum value of them. Okay. So how we are going to do this uh, is using this code now. So let's jump to the coding solution. So the first thing is to find out our three maximum and two minimum values, I'm just going to create five constants. So two minimum values, I'm just going to declare min one because uh, initially min one has to be integer dot max value. Uh, why I'm initializing it to integer dot max value because later when we start comparing it with the nums array, eventually min one will be uh, obviously greater than the nums ith value so eventually min1 will get reassigned the minimum value in the nums array okay so that's why i am initializing it to max value similarly for our second minimum value i am just going to make the uh, variable name as min2 and then initialize it to max value again then for the three maximum values i am going to initialize three maximum uh, three maximum in, uh, integers max 1, 2 and 3 so max 1, 2 and 3 and initially they are all going to be min value so that later on uh, using reassignment through our loop traversal we will eventually assign them the three maximum values of our array okay so let's start through our loop now so for integer i equals to 0 to i less than nums dot length i plus plus so now we are in our loop so first thing we are just going to assign our minimum value integer so if min 1 is greater than nums i then we are just going to assign min 2 to the previous min 1 value and min 1 because it is greater than the nums i so it will get assigned the minimum value which is nums i value so this is it as if so if min1 is not greater than nums i but min2 is actually greater than nums i. So if min2 is greater than nums i it means min2 needs to be reassigned. So min2 becomes equals to nums i. Now our minimum values are uh, done with reassignment next comes the maximum value. Okay so the same thing with maximum values if max1 is great is uh, uh, smaller than nums i then it needs to be reassigned so we will just assign max 3 to max 2 max 2 to max 1 and finally max 1 will get reassigned to nums i value now the same thing as with our min 2 we will go to do the same with max 2 as well so else if max 2 is uh, smaller than nums i then reassign max 3 to the original max2 value and max2 will get assigned the nums i value and finally else if if not, uh, both max1 and max2 are actually greater than the num, uh, nums i value but max3 is actually smaller than the nums i then we just have to reassign the max3 value to nums i value and by uh, by executing this loop finally max 1 2 and 3 will have the three maximum integers and min 1 and 2 will have the two uh, smallest integer so integer pos positive product so pos product will becomes equals to 
max 1, max 2 into max 3 and integer negative product will be equal to min 1, min 2 and max 1. So min 1, min 2 and finally max 1 and what we are going to return is the maximum value of positive product and negative product. So there we go. Let's name it negative product. Okay. So let's run this code guys. Let's see if this works with our examples and it works with one of them. So I'm just going to submit this code just to see if this works with all the other examples as well. And there you go guys that it passes all the test cases. Now if I talk about the time complexity of this solution, the time complexity is order of n uh, which is definitely smaller than the complexity in the first case where it was order of n log n. Uh, if I talk about the space complexity, it is again order of 1 in this case because we are not using any extra space. Uh, so definitely this is a better solution than the previous one. Okay. Uh, so that was about this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something from it. If you have guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends as well. And write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me. All feedback is welcome. If you have not yet subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. I make your videos every day from Monday to Friday. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.